anomaly alerts or anomaly detection um, in datadog they provide uh, alert section for anomaly and something like outliers and forecasting also so we will see anomaly as a main point and from there we will uh, touch upon outliers and um, uh, forecasting so to create anomaly alert we can go to new monitor so monitors new monitor there are few places to go through but directly we can go to anomaly here or we can go to anything others like matrix and from there anomaly tab will be there so we can go there so click the matrix and uh, anomaly detection from here also we can go at the same time we can go to uh, monitor new monitor straight away go to anomaly uh, all are same similar so we can come to this point so after go to anomaly detection there are two graphs shown one is the history value of selected matrix and the other one is the actually um, anomaly evaluation so they are showing that so the anomaly evaluation is little tricky especially this th threshold value right so to see that tricky one they have the documentation of course we can go and see so they were telling the calculation way so if we say 50 percentage threshold what they say is just select the hours first so we have select the hours um, so last 15 minutes 15 minutes so we can go for four hours as they say, mentioned then if we go for 50 percentage or 80 percentage what they mean here is so 80 percentage mean we had to go for like threshold 80 percentage so the opposite 20 percentage we had to go for let's say they do four hours multiplied by one minus 0 0.8 <coughs> 0 0.8 mean 80 percentage so we have to go for the remaining percentage so 20 percentage so we need to calculate that how much time it goes so four hours multiplied by 60 minutes so it is 240 minutes then you just apply 0 0.2 on that one it will be 48 minutes so if we calculate so four hours four multiplied by 60 minutes that is 240 then 240 multiplied by um, 1 minus 0 0.8 so 0 0.2 that is 48 minute plus one minute we have to add so that's how they are giving the formula so 49 minutes so what they're saying is last 49 minutes no anomaly that's a recovery window then any anomaly seen it will alert that's how that 80 percentage mean so that's little confusing but watch out that's how they mean so there should be a kind of in this configuration there should be kind of 49 minutes no anomaly then one anomaly came then only it will alert every time it's spiking out then it won't alert that's how they mention next thing is so you can see there is a band this band is set the gray color band set by the system system itself so they put this is the natural flow and those spikes are the anomalies that's how they set it so if we just let it free for alert every time then it will end up alerting for every anomaly it's supposed to be a lower percentage um, otherwise uh, we can go for a, a proper percentage and anomaly so after certain uh, time uh, if no no anomaly then anomaly comes it will alert so that's how they put this band when we apply multiple hosts then it will be like they can't show the band properly so individually only it will go so that is little confusing so every every chart will have its own kind of uh, we can see right own kind of uh, anomaly bands so this particular thing calculated internally they are using kind of uh, patterns uh, uh, hours in a day so over the day how the pattern change so it's not always fixed uh, in a day we can see like office hours peak hours then night time uh, or peak hours different different pattern will be there so within a day hourly basis they may see uh, within a week day based they may see like sunday uh, or, or, or out of office hours like that then only they calculate the anomaly but anyhow this is an internal function possibly they will improve uh, like uh, frequently so that is another thing to look at uh, look at this one so after applying the percentage and this one then remaining will be same as alerts the alert will go on now outliers will come to the outliers outliers also similar normally outliers supposed to be given with a group that's why they are telling select a group whatever matrix we give we had to give a group so we can give by host name but 
that is not a perfect thing then we may have to apply something like environment or something because if i put a large quantity of servers from various uh, application then i have to end up with um, uh, the similar groups because other, otherwise uh, this uh, outliers falling under uh, different kind of servers some servers are highly utilized some uh, are underutilized so that will be confusing so this is more suitable for a load balanced environment that group of servers we can group it and then host wise or kind of grouping we can apply then among them looking for anomaly so if one of the server behaving very uh, different that that we can detect and give an alert so here almost it look like a similar fluctuation even in this point similar fluctuation so when it is crossing through those kind of abnormal behavior we can get an alert that is a outlier based alert then forecast so forecast normally they will give a forecast based on the past history again um, and in the forecasted value if some kind of prediction going to happen we can apply a threshold value here and alert based on that so that is another feature they are giving uh, forecast wise also normally forecast won't be like that perfect they are giving a small band here uh, again that they are going to see it based on the history only so if we can't remember and all the history pattern and all so we can set an alert so maybe previously also alert happened the similar day early it will, they will come and alert okay there is a chance potential issue will happen in this particular time these are the thing in anomaly sets for anomaly alert anyhow watchdog also there it is an intelligent one but it's a, that is a separate thing like uh, they analyze everything and from there they will come up with a report currently this setup have a less amount of data they need a large amount of data and variety of data to do watchdog so if you go there that uh, it won't list anything at all even if you select uh, various things so i couldn't explain about watchdog here you can see apm you can see based on logs or infrastructure mean any infrastructure related uh, uh, parameters so they always ask for three groups uh, but still the data points not enough for uh, it to generate a watchdog uh, uh, anomaly so these are the thing in the uh, ai based uh, ai based alert and uh, anomaly uh, in data log.